Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we are looking at not one, not two, but all four Ghostbusters from the Mezco uh, 112 Collective Pose Play display. Yes, this box is so big, it out. it's bigger than my photo tent that I normally use. So here's the big, big box. It's a giant tin. And on the back it shows you everything that you get. A huge amount of stuff. So with this, typically I can pull it out and I'll just go right into the review. With this, I'm going to have to pause it, pull everything out, get it all set to go. So just give me a minute for you guys. For me, it's going to take a couple minutes and I'll be right back. So hang tight. Here we go. Oh man, that was a lot of accessories I had to pull out. Okay, so we're back. Uh, this place, uh, base, perfect, absolutely perfect. Ghostbuster logo, nothing needed else. Doesn't need to have Ghostbusters written on or anything like that. You get four of these, one for each character. Uh, so we'll go over the hands and get them out of the way. So with the hands, you get... Okay, so let's go over... Actually, let's just do it this way. Let's go over everything that you get four of, first and foremost, and get those out of the way. So you get four sets of hands. Um, the hands include the fist hand the claw, the hand to hold an accessory and an open hand so you get left and right of all of them so let's get that out of the way there's a lot to go through so i'm going to move relatively quickly over the stuff all right we will go over the figures after the accessories you get four radios they're very simple there's nothing really uh, too much to them. They they work. So you get four radios. You get four proton packs, which are done beautifully. They're all identical. They do light up. Uh, Peter's has the batteries in them, so when I get over to Peter, I will light it up for you. But I'll do it at the end. I haven't decided yet does unhook the uh, uh, hose or cable to the um, proton. Well, it's a proton pack, but I don't, I don't know if this was a, like the thrower, I guess you'd call it, um, is, uh, is wired so you can bend it. It will stay in place. It won't get in the way. But the sculpt and attention to detail that is done on all these packs is phenomenal. Somebody took a lot of time and care to get it all done right. It's absolutely, absolutely stunning. So you get four of them, four radios, for these hands. Uh, you get four, let's move him aside for a second. You get four of the proton streams, which you can see here. Not a huge fan of it. Um, I don't know if anybody's been able to recreate the effect that it gives um, perfectly. This one, uh, maybe if it was more pinkish, might have been better. So there's that. This just attaches to the end of it. Let's move by that. So they did their best. I'm not a fan of this. It doesn't bend. It doesn't. It, it. You can't curl it around the ghost or anything like that. It's just there. I think this was just in. It, they wanted to put something in there, and I think this was the best that they could come up with. It could have been better, in my opinion. But that this isn't why you buy the set. This isn't why you buy the set. You buy a set for these guys. Um, okay, so that's what you get four of: four radios, four proton packs, and the sets of hands. Those are all identical uh, throughout. Now, we get unique items we get. Let's start off with Ray's goggles, which he's 99% of the time typically seen war wearing on his forehead, which we'll go back on him later. I already had it on him. I'll address that in a moment. Okay. Um, you get a ghost trap. Which is nice. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how it goes onto the belt. And this cable here is well, it's wired too. So you could um, you could make the, the cable tighter to coil up the pedal. 
for the ghost trapper. This is all done nicely. It's all in scale with the figure, but it's hard when it has something like this to get it all to sit nicely on the character himself. I don't believe that the doors open on the trap itself. I haven't, I think it's all one molded piece, but it's painted to the nine and looks like it came right out of the movie. Even the wheels on the bottom. The wheels don't move, but I like that they're sculpted in there. Okay. Uh, that's it, da, 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 da. We have Peter's air tester from when he went to Dana Barrett's apartment. And she asked him, I don't think you're using that the right way. Or he's, you know, there's a, the plunger that you squeeze and he's like testing the air. Seems a bit fragile. I wouldn't go fiddling with it too much. I don't see many people actually using this accessory, but there it is. You also get a PKE meter, which is also beautifully sculpted and detailed. And the arms do crank up like so. There you go. And last but not least, you do get... Slimer, let me bring this down just a little bit. Slimer does come off that he does come with this uh, base. And he plugs right in. Um, not much articulation, just in the just in the hands or in the arms. He does glow in the dark. I don't know if people let you know that, but he does glow in the dark. He glows pretty nicely. Nice representation of Slimer. It always freaks me out whenever I see the butt. I don't know why. But they did a good job with him. So there you go. I love the shine on his teeth if you look at that. In the eyes. Like he is definitely a good representation of him. Okay. Um, let's go over each guys. Let's go over their alternate heads and get them out of the way as well. Then we'll get to the figures themselves since there's so many of them. All right, so you get the regular faces, and then you get their scared faces, which come in the box. So here is the scared Ray face. Here's the scared Winston face. Or shocked. I don't know, scared, shocked. Seen a ghost face. Oh, fell out of my hand. Scared. Solid ghost face, I guess, is what the, the best way to describe them. Here's your Slimer coming at Peter face. Which they did a good job with them. Um, typically, I complain about the teeth and uh, with Mezco figures, and actually, they did a nice job with them so far, is what I've seen. Um, yeah, there you go. And then, last but not least, here's your scared Egon face. There you go. All right. Um, let's go to Egon. We will go to Egon because he doesn't have his proton pack on. Uh, so we'll go over him for articulation and what's cloth and what's uh, plastic. Plastic head, as you've seen. Uh, plastic shoulder pad, plastic hand, plastic uh, cuff to the, to the glove. Belt is plastic. Plastic belt. Hold on one second. The heater just kicked on. I'm going to shut that off. Oh, the ability to pause. Okay, sorry about that with the heater. Um, plastic belt and plastic little nozzle and tube that cannot be disattached. Um, plastic shoe, plastic uh, top of the boot. Okay. Articulation-wise, he's got a ball joint at the base of the neck. Shoulder. Uh, single jointed elbow, or is it? Um, uh, it could, uh, without ripping out the shirt. Let me test this again. Uh, no, it, it's double jointed. It, I think there's double, double in there. It's just, it's limited due to the fact that you have this big pad on here and you really can't feel the joint to see if it actually bends. 
as far as you want it to bend. Um, ab crunch is in there. That you're twisting right here at the ab. That's the ab in there that you're twisting at. Waist wise is in there as well. Can't get much of it because of the jumpsuit. Um, ball joint of the leg is in there. But inhibited by the belt. Double joint of the knee. You get a cut at the top of the boot and your ankle. Okay, and they all have the same articulation. It's probably the same body underneath all of them. All right, so now the uniqueness of each character comes into play as it were. Okay, so Peter and Winston both have the same belt. They're identical, nothing extra. Egon has an extra holster on the side for the PKE meter to go into here. So it gets pushed into there like so. So that works for him. Ray, which, uh, let's look at Egon's face sculpt. So we can just get Egon done and out of the way. Beautifully done. I think that all of them were done very, very well. All right. So now we got Egon done. We can put him on his base and... Move them on back. We'll leave Peter for last since he has the uh, batteries in the proton pack. Let's actually just take Egon out of the picture. We got a call. You had to go. Uh, let's bring Ray up to the forefront. Now, first and foremost, you're going to notice we got a paint damage here. Now, I think and I do believe that the paint damage was caused from the goggles. So, because when I got him, I would have noticed that immediately. Um, I put the goggles on it to test it out, to take a look at it. And I think that it just got stuck on there, or when it came off, it scraped it along the way. So, be mindful of that, that you could actually have a messed up hair on Ray with these goggles. If you don't, if you're worried about that kind of stuff, then don't put the goggles on him. But... There you go. So he can wear the goggles. He can wear them all the way down like so. But yeah, my my Ray's hair got messed up, which is unfortunate because Ray's one of my favorite characters. Um, his belt is unique because of the fact that oh, there went his hand. Um, his belt is more unique because he has the ghost trap um, holster. So he's the one that's in charge of the ghost trap. Let's just slide his arm back this way. Now the ghost trap itself is supposed to fit in here, which it does. But what to do with this, I have no clue. Like this, I don't know if it's supposed to coil up and wrap it and hook onto something, if this unplugs. This to me was a little jarring. I didn't know what to do with it. Like I would rather have it a second molded closed up coil to, to hang it on or to have this disattached so you could just have the trap itself and not worry about the foot pedal and the and the, the cable that connects to it <clears throat> i don't know it just it that wasn't i wasn't a fan of that little aspect of it how to get the ghost trap to sit nicely on him so <clears throat> excuse me oh i was talking about ghostbusters um, more than likely, if I, when I display these guys, Ray will be just holding the trap. Um, it'll basically be his job to hold the trap and keep his goggles on because of, because of the, the paint defect on the, on the hair. Or the paint damage. I shouldn't as well call it a defect because I don't think it was there when I pulled them out. So I think it was just the, the rub between the goggles and the hair that caused that. Also, the cable on the back of his proton pack... Uh, one of them came loose when putting it on. I'm sure it just needs a little bit of force and just a, maybe a little dab of glue at the end to, to glue it back on. But it is something to keep in mind. Be careful of these pieces. They're probably uh, assembled afterwards and maybe they just missed a little dab of glue in there. Or even if they glue it, I'm not sure. 
might be held in by friction. So keep that in mind. There goes Ray. All right, Winston. Winston didn't come with any special accessories, which I think is kind of odd. He didn't, he should have came with the ghost trap because got, well, Ray got the goggles. But maybe in the in the movie, I just popped off his hand just to get out of the way. Maybe in the movie he doesn't have the holster and Ray does, so that's why they did that. Um, this is a put. This is the normal belt, which is nice. Everything about these guys is spectacular. Like putting this on, the whole thing uh, works very very well. So there you go. Here's Ernie Hudson's face for Winston. I think they did a great job with that. I think all of them, they did the the best I've seen so far of a representation of the Ghostbusters um, likeness. Some of these actors are a little harder to get the likeness down for. And case in point is, um, last but not least... Peter Bakeman. Um It kind of looks like Bill Murray. It's it's so hard to get his likeness. I don't know why. Maybe it's just his face. Um, I see similarities when uh, similar issues with like uh, Mark Hamill for Luke Skywalker. They have a hard time getting that face to just translate into plastic for some reason. Um, same belt as Winston. Uh, everything else is the same. Same. I love the logo on the side. They did that perfectly on all of them. I don't think I pointed that out before. They all have their own uh, individual name tags. Black shirt underneath. Um, the collars help hide the long necks, which is an issue that sometimes Mesco has with the, with the necks. When they have this... Uh, when they do the, the joints like this, sometimes the necks look a little oddly long, but the collars on the jumpsuits help transition between like kind of hide that lungs of the neck so this works well having that collar to to bunch up next to the neck so that it doesn't look like there's a long distance between the chin and the chest so that works well for them um so that is it for all the ghostbusters the last thing is the gimmick so let me shut down some of these lights so we can see it a little bit better and that will turn off the front light And my house is wired for Google, so one second. Hey, Google, turn off the kitchen lights. Sure, turning two lights off. <laughs> Don't you love that? Um, and the flashlight is on. Though. All right, so I tried to get all the lights off in one shot. Give me a second. Let me shut off the, the light on the camera. Okay, so I had to shut off the video just to get all the lights to turn off on the camera on in the house and, and all around and there's still daylight coming in but you'll be able to see this uh, maybe i'll edit out the whole turning off the lights or maybe i'll leave it in. who cares right all right so here we go with the proton pack the light turns on in the front it doesn't give off enough light to really light up that uh proton stream but it's cool that that lights up the real gem is the back do you get the uh the four nodes at the bottom and you get the, the light going up the meter on the back it's absolutely stunning. The only problem is that with all the lights being on the back like that, you never get to see them. Like, it's a great thing for them to light up the way that they do. And I think it's it's great that they added that in. But you're never going to be... You're not going to display your, your, your Ghostbusters display. You're not going to have them, like, all facing away from your shelf. You're not... It's, it's kind of silly. Like, I like that they did it. But at the same time, it kind of seems like a bit of a waste. Like I would have rather them try to put in. Let me put the turn the lights back on. Um, I would have rather them done it for like maybe the ghost trap because when the ghost trap pops open, it's really bright. So that would have been, I think. Um, hey Google, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay, turning two lights. Aha! And there goes Peter. Um, yeah, I'm in the kitchen right now. Typically, I'm in my office, uh, but the wife's working from home. So, there you go. TMI, whatever. Uh, overall, the Ghostbusters are an amazing set. You get a lot. You get four figures, and you pay for about the price of three. So, pick whichever one you like the least and say you get them for free.
Um, overall, I love these figures. I think that they did a huge, huge undertaking of trying to put in four figures plus a ghost, plus all the accessories, plus alternate heads. Like, there's so much that you get in this set, and people are like, but the price is so high. I think it's about 300 for the set. Um, the price is so high on that, but it's so worth it. It's absolutely 150% worth it. Um, there's not many Ghostbuster uh, figures out there that look like the Ghostbusters. This set is a must for anybody who's ever enjoyed these movies, who's ever um, loved these characters. This set is is the, the finite set that you need for the Ghostbusters. This is what you would need. You wouldn't need another set. You wouldn't need another company to put out the Ghostbusters. This is it. This is... You're done. You're done with the Ghostbusters when you pick this set up. You don't need any other versions. You don't need any other variants. You don't need anything else. Maybe if you really want to, you could get the, the second movie ones with the gray jumpsuits if you like that suit better. But I wasn't a big fan of them putting the number two logo on the side of the jumpsuit. I thought that was kind of silly. Um, which I do believe they did. So... This set is is phenomenal, and it's a hundred percent worth buying, especially if you're a fan of the of the movie and these guys. Um, I you will not be disappointed. Keep in mind, like I said, with Ray's uh, goggles that it messes up his hair. You may want to put a little bit of piece of plastic on the front of his hair, like to put in between the goggles and the and the hair, so that there's no paint rub. Um, be mindful of any other fragile stuff like uh, Peter's uh, air air tester that could easily break due to the thinness of it um but otherwise you know there's there's a little hiccups here a little hiccups there but i still endorse it 100 percent. i still love this set i think it's absolutely amazing i think that mezco was smart to put all the all the characters together in one set um because the last thing you would want is to try to hunt down say peter because peter's more popular than ray and you can find ray everywhere but then you can't find egon it would be just aggravating, and I think that they were trying to do them individually. Some would sell out faster than others due to popularity of the character or just whatever. Um, so my thoughts is this was the smartest, most perfect way to do this. The only thing we really need now is a Ecto-1 that would fit these guys in it or at least for them to stand uh, in front of. So other than that, I love this set, and I uh, fully endorse it. I think uh, it's amazing, and... Um, Great job, Mesco. All right, that's it. I'm out. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys later.